Hey you guys, April Johnson. It is Wednesday morning, November 20th, I want to say, 2013. So I wanted to put together a quick video. I've been having problems with my PC and um, just for the record, I do not use my PC on a regular basis, but I do use it for software on a regular basis to run my business. Um, for some reason, PC um, handles software better than Macs. Macs has high security features, and so a lot of the software and things that we use for our businesses sometimes, you know, won't run on um uh, Mac. So I still have my laptop, and I might as well put it to use. The only thing with using a PC um, for software is that it um, contracts a lot of viruses. Is that the right word to say? Contracts a lot of viruses. But yeah. So, um, you know, you just get like ads popping up all throughout the day or, you know, whenever you're using, whenever you click on a button, you'll see ads popping up. So I'm going to try to adjust this. And you all, this is bootleg because my PC is so jacked that I can't even get sound. So I'm trying my best here, but I did want to show you all how to do this because a lot of people kind of go into convulsions when, uh, you know, their uh, PC starts acting up and then, you know, start panicking. So let me show you a real quick way. And this is just a basic thing that I'm doing here. So let's see. I'm going to go to my start button. I'm going to come over to control panel. I'm going to go to programs. And I'm going to click uninstall a program. And I hope you all can see this is right at the top, uninstall a program. And then it's going to generate a big list of all of the programs that I use and that are on my computer. Some things that I want you to see is that, and I hope you all can see this, is that, um, you know, it has the publisher, it has the date that it was install, installed, the size and the version. What I pay attention to is... When I download something, any software or anything, I want to, you know, kind of keep in mind what day it was, what month. So I know that I downloaded a lot of things um, in November. And uh, actually, these things that I got, these Adobe products um, in February, those are good. Um, and I did want to point this out. I'll do another video on this. But if you have PC at Aware antivirus software is awesome okay so use that they got a lot of mixed reviews but I don't have any problems with it so let me just scroll down and I'm going to look for I know that I put some programs in around November 15th so here's one right here that that comes up um, actually November 15th yeah so it's called sys tweak so I'm going to do is click it click it and then hit uninstall at the top and it's gonna. Sh some of these programs actually show you a lot of. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? This will automatically delete all this and that and that. Just get rid of it, okay? Now you don't want to do this for your things that you need, like your Microsoft um, Office things and like that. But you want to get rid of the things that you just happen to notice. You keep popping up like all out of the blue, and then they're gonna send you. This is so funny. They're gonna send you to their web page and try to get you to buy. So this is how you know that this stuff is bogus, okay? So you don't need it. So let's get out of here. So it's already uninstalled. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to scroll down again to my date. And I did want my free YouTube downloader and uploader. That's something that I actually did want. And then it just so happens when I downloaded them that, you know, everybody and their mother came onto my computer and made themselves known. So I think that's about it. But here's one right here. My search out 1115. It's November 15th. I don't even know how that got on there, but it automatically came on. I downloaded some software. So the point of this, you want to go ahead and click uninstall. And it says, this: um, the uninstallation requires your browser to be closed during the process. Please make sure your browser is closed before continuing. I don't even know if it's closed, but I'm just going to click OK. And these, you all, and it says uninstall my uh, search dial update process. Yes, you see how they keep trying to get you. It's just like a, a telemarketer trying to get you to uh, come back, come back, come back. You know, so now it says uninstall must reboot your computer to delete files. Continue with uninstall. So they're just trying to make it difficult. And this is a pain in the butt. But you all, this is just a process of it. So you get your software. Yes, you need it for your business. Um, and then you have to go through sometimes and just uh, be sure if you don't have any protection on your computer, be sure that you're going through and deleting the files that you don't need. Because a lot of these programs are coming up, and I didn't ask for them. I don't know how they got there, but I know I needed that program. And here we go. So it says, uninstall completed. And I thought they said they were going to have to reboot it. There was probably another scare tactic. If it is, it's okay with me. 
So I'm just going to close out of that and see if they'll... Oh, okay, so I have to go ahead and, and uh, restart my computer. And then that's it, you all. So um, software is our friends. Um, some software, you know, people are just sneaking. Companies are sneaking and putting it in, um, you know, just throwing it in and hoping that someone will buy it, which is really tacky to me. But um, so don't just fear and don't have a lot of, uh, you know, concern um, when you st keep seeing these ads and things posted on your PC and you're like, where are these coming from? How did all these programs get on there? Just go in, do um, through your search or your start um, button and then go to control panel, do system, I'm sorry, program, what is it called? Before I send you off. I went through it before, but I'm gonna go in through control panel and then do programs and you can just go uninstall a program right through there and then it'll bring all the ones up. So this is a bootleg video, sorry, but hopefully it helps someone. Um, thanks. Subscribe to my channels, please, to April Johnson 101. Have a great day, you all.